President Obama arrived in New York this evening for the start of the United Nations General Assembly. As always, the president is accompanied by hundreds of Secret Service members. Watching his every move, Margaret Brennan met some of the sharpshooters in charge of protecting him. Left edge. The Secret Service's elite counter sniper team Judge. is trained to hit targets dead on. Hit in the forehead. We have to be ready to drop down and take that shot. Or in the worst case scenario, put themselves in the line of fire. Travis has been on the force for a decade. 600 yard board. You signed up to take a bullet for the president. Yes, ma'am. That's a lot to sign up for. I, it is, absolutely. Wherever the president is, counter snipers protect him from above. They work in teams of two, armed with high-powered assault rifles that can hit would-be assassins hundreds of yards away. Left leg. The key to an accurate hit is the wind caller. Here Left it's eye. Travis. Center. Telling his partner Terry Left. precisely how to aim to counteract the wind. Left edge. So you really have to trust the partner. Absolutely. Completely. You can take the shot, you can make the call either way. If I see the target, I'll drop down, he'll start calling. If he sees the target, I'll, I'll become the communicator and wind caller. And he's just thinking about pressing the trigger. The most complicated scenarios are in crowds overseas in unfamiliar terrain. During a recent presidential trip to Poland, Dennis, a 10-year veteran of the team, was concerned about how a sniper might conceal himself among the buildings lining the motorcade route. The president's going to come around here. I'm going to assume all these people are going to come out looking out their windows. And have, you potentially could have a thousand open windows right here. In this age of frequent terror attacks, open windows are not the only concern. We're worried about suicide bombers. We're worried about car bombs. You look at a car, it makes you suspicious. Or a guy that's walking down the street in July and he's got a heavy coat on. This doesn't make, looking for the unusual. Remarkably, no sniper team member has had to fire a shot since the unit was formed in 1971. It's a record they're determined to maintain. Margaret Brennan, CBS News, Laurel, Maryland.